Violence surged in Manipur on Saturday as a mob attempted to storm the residence of Chief Minister N. Bairan Singh in Impath. Security forces intervened using tear gas to disperse the crowd. The Chief Minister was confirmed safe as he was at his office during the incident. Since May 2023, Manipur has been grappling with communal clashes over reservations in jobs and education, leading to over 250 deaths and displacement of around 60,000 people. Following the discovery of six bodies, three women and three children, reportedly abducted and killed by militants in Jiribam, the victims were believed to have gone missing from a displacement camp after a gunfight in Jiribam that resulted in the deaths of 10 insurgents. Three of the bodies were recovered from the Barak River on Saturday, while the others had been found earlier. Protests erupted after the discovery of the bodies, with demonstrators targeting the residences of three state ministers and six MLAs. Among those targeted was R.K. Emo, a BJP MLA and Chief Minister Singh's son-in-law, whose home was set ablaze. Protesters also blocked roads and set tires on fire in Impal, while other incidents of arson, including the burning of churches and houses, were reported in Jerabam. As a result, the state imposed an indefinite curfew and suspended internet services. Meanwhile, the remains of the 10 Kukizu individuals killed in the Jiribam gunfight were transported to Churachandpur after autopsies were conducted in Silchar, Assam. In light of the escalating violence, the Armed Forces Special Powers Act was reimposed in six police station areas, including Jiribam. This followed the Manipur government's earlier decision to limit AFSPA to only certain areas of the state. As tensions remain high, Union Home Minister Amit Shah has cancelled his scheduled rallies in Maharashtra's Vidarbha region. He returned to Delhi to address the crisis in Manipur.